they went sanded that dust snip out and failed to polish it out correctly. The customer just dropped that off and left that so get to it when we can get to it. That's a terrible idea. <laughs> it, it, it is, especially considering how busy we are. Morning time, Friday. Definitely doesn't feel like Friday. They're finishing up the uh, Taurus, uh, Ford Taurus show that they were doing a, an exterior enhancement on. Um, they gotta polish that and then they'll spray a layer of C2 V3 on there. BMW X5 is leaving today. They got the Grand Sport all done with the paint protection film. They're gonna bring that out. They're probably just laying down the edges. We have just random cars sitting around here. I don't know what this is. <laughs> Woo, look at that. Exterior enhancement, we're gonna make this look a little better. Mercedes usually has pretty hard paint. Uh, we're looking for 80 to 85% correction on this, and that's a lot of damage on there, so we'll get as much as we can out for that. The S550, I know this has been here a couple days. The customer just dropped that off and left that, so get to it when we can get to it. That's a terrible idea. <laughs> it, it is, especially considering how busy we are. Today's goal is the bus thing I want to get ready, that one has to leave. We want it to leave tomorrow, but the customer's not going to drive it if it's raining. It's totally understandable. It's a Cobra. And we have two Tesla Model 3s for window tint. One of them's also getting an exterior maintenance on it. The BMW X5 that's been here for two weeks almost is finally going home. Yeah. That one's leaving today, and the customer should be dropping off his other BMW X5 that we're doing the same thing with. I'm glad somebody knows what's going on around here. <laughs> I guess I'll just go sit in my corner. My name is Randy, this is my new BMW X5. My former car was a Audi S7. I loved that car, I loved the big V8. But with a baby in my life now, having to move the front seats forward enough to fit the child seat in the back, made it so that my wife was just like upright against the windshield and it was not gonna happen for road trips and things. And uh, the closest thing I could find that really fit my lifestyle and love of performance and technology um, was this new uh, X5, my first BMW, first SUV actually, and uh, knew I had to get it covered and protected for Chicago winters uh, and also protect the interior and myself from the sun, so we went with a full tint package, full Xpel film and G-Technic uh, Crystal Serum as well. And as a kind of part-time detailer and former detailer myself, I love the G-Technic line of products. Um, and I have had not as much time lately with a, a, a new uh, baby in my life. And um, so I, I brought it here to Chicago Auto Pros because I have done all the research and read all the reviews and they're the best in the business, you know, and not just in the area. I think, you know, people come here from uh, quite a ways away, especially this new beautiful shop here in, uh, in Lombard. 
and um, the car speaks for itself. The, the, the attention to detail here, you know, there is every single possible flaw in the factory finish has been buffed out, protected with paint protection film, and uh, protected with a ceramic coating on top. And you know, now I'm confident I can drive this car and not be afraid of Chicago uh, roads, you know, winters, you know, pebbles from trucks, things like that. Um, as well as making the car easier to maintain and, and just keep it clean. Um, and you know, if you're thinking about bringing your car here and you're a picky you know, car guy like myself, you can walk around the car afterwards and before, walk through, talk about points you wanna make sure are covered, and afterwards make sure you know, every little thing that I look at you know, when I'm working on my own cars has been covered here. You know, the, the, the seams are all hidden if you look at the film closely. There are no seams visible almost anywhere on the car. And on top of that, with a G-Technic uh, Crystal Serum on top, um, you're not gonna have that buildup of, of wax and other kind of uh, residue left over on all the seams. I think that's another great feature of, of combination of paint protection film along with G-Technic. But uh, can't wait to get out and drive it. Cobra SVT Mustang that we've been working on. This one has to go out tomorrow. So Edgar is going to jump in, start polishing the paint, see how shiny we can get it. The Career 4S that we've been working on just needs an exterior enhancement. We're going to polish the areas that doesn't have paint protection film on it and then the whole car is going to get VCOA. Saturday morning, Friday, yesterday was kind of a hectic day. A lot of us were here too, probably about seven o'clock last night. Uh, a couple window tin cars were here late. Uh, the guys were here late trying to finish out a couple cars. Customers were here waiting to pick up. Um, been a little hectic. We were a little uh understaffed and overworked uh better than the other way around a lot of you business owners probably can relate to this actually this winter we were we were the opposite we had probably one of the worst winters we had in chicago in about a decade here and it really affected our business it's kind of a roller coaster ride kind of got to ride those waves when they're high and then survive those valleys but uh, we're making it through they had we had about five new trainees in here this week uh, not all of them are going to work out we actually had two of them already uh, not work out they didn't really last <laughs> a full day but we got three other guys that we're excited about and we'll get them trained in edgar and tadas have been really kicking ass uh, this week and putting in overtime and getting everything done that we need to get done lots going on this Audi is hopefully going to be finished today. They were doing the paint correction yesterday. I think they're just going to be polishing it today. And then uh, we're going to put Modesta BC05 on this one. The Mustang will probably be done today too. They were just finishing up the compounding on this. So this one's been all here all week. And uh, we have some time on this one, but this one should be done today. Just finishing out the final polishing. And I know Edgar was working on this one a little bit late last night. There's Edgar. Hey, good morning. Hey, buddy. Grand Sport's all finished. Uh, they did paint protection film on the whole front end, and then they did the rear quarter panels here. Uh, the rest of the car is getting BCO4 put on it, and we'll have a little correction on the doors and the top and the back bumper there. And uh, get the BCO4 Modesta put on it. This Mercedes has been here for a week now. It is prepped. We just have to do an exterior maintenance on it. Uh, Lots of squirrels and scratches on that one. This customer just kind of dropped it off. He was not on the schedule. He just said, uh, get to it when you can. And uh, 
hopefully we'll get to it this month very sorry beautiful saturday i'm sure we're gonna have a bunch of washes as always i appreciate you guys all the fans here the support it's been amazing the channel has been growing by leaps and bounds i think we tripled in the last uh, probably six months so thank you thank you thank you guys you're awesome subscribe throw a comment down below and enjoy the rest of the video Tesla day, I guess. We got one in the prep bay that's getting prepped for detail. They're pulling another one into the film room. That one's getting Stratos window film. There's too many Tesla Model 3s here. Four Tesla Model 3s here. And one badass Mustang. This is sweet. This Mustang GT350 is in for a pre-detail inspection. We want to go over the vehicle and just see how much work we have to put into it so we can get the customer an accurate quote. You would have just washed it last just night. That's why. I don't like the tire shine. Ooh, that. that <laughs> they like piled that tire shine on. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what are we doing to this one? We're going to wrap the whole thing, or wrap the whole front clip in paint protection film, front bumper, hood, fenders, mirrors, headlights, and then do perfect paint correction on it and i also do Modesta BCOA and tint the windows with uh, Pinnacle 25%. Uh, the other thing that comes for fire testing, you know, you have a two-pill pole when you're down there. Down there? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to bring us a uh, touch-up paint for you. He's going to the dealership today okay. to get the touch-up paint. Oh, there's I a look chip in the door jam? Right over here, yeah. Got like a bubble of uh, paint over here too. What is it? Oh, wow. From the paint? Oh, right, let's go to the next one. Yeah. Inspection again. Uh, another inspection? Yes. What is this one looking to get? It is getting window tints, uh, full power with the windshield. It's also going to get uh, paint protection film on the front clip and then uh, G Technique Ultra. Nice. Listen to that purr. All right, so this one's getting full correction. G Technic coating. Ooh, and it's black. And it's black. So let's go over it. Let it's me see. Brand new, 456 miles. 400 and how many miles? Uh, 204. 204 miles. 204 miles. All right. Obviously, this car is dirty. <laughs> We're just going to go ahead and check for uh, any damage, scratches. We actually just want to get an estimate for. How much time this is going to take to do the paint correction before we actually put the coating on the vehicle you see there's some wax there you see some through the dirt you can see the rotary swirls already of this being polished i don't know he has a all the dots in there right on the edge all the dust nibs yeah yeah there's a dust nib right on the edge of the paint there. You can see that. Is this customer dropping off today or? No, I just want to make sure and get the estimate for that. Okay, just getting the yeah, estimate yes, right now. What he's going to get done first. Okay. I feel like we should wash it first. Yeah. 
Mm. Over here's more dirt. Yeah, let's let's there. go ahead and wash this car because this is filthy. So we can get a true let me confirm the look. Yeah. Alright, now we can get a much better look at the vehicle. First thing we notice right here, wet sanding mark from the factory. So, they wet sanded that dust nib out and failed to polish it out correctly. You often see people post pictures or videos like this in the shade when there's no light, and it looks perfect. You can see it looks like a mirror. But once you get the light up to it, you can see all the imperfections and the scratches and the swirls. <laughs> Boom. Rock chip. So what do you think, uh, how long is this gonna take to do paint correction and get this to where it should be before we put the coating or put a, any type of clear bra on? Principal, it's a black car. <laughs> <laughs> They're the funnest cars. Yeah, I love cars. Black car's my favorite too, but uh, it's really bad. They got water spots all over too, see? Yeah. It looks like they have some scratch still here, see? So what do you think? This is probably 10 or 15 hours worth of work? Yeah, 10. To, uh, we're gonna do two stages. I would say, yeah, two stages. We'll, we'll compound it. We're gonna compound. Polish. Sure. Yeah, polish. We'll fix all the rock chips, touch them up the best we can. All right, uh, some, uh, forget something. When sanding, it's gonna get in a paint protection film. Uh. Yep. Hold oh on. yeah, dust nib right there. Yeah, so dust nib around there. That's a bad dust nib. You can see it. If we put film over that, it's gonna leave a, uh, a circle around it because of course you got a high point where the, uh, where the dust nib is and then a low point around it. If we don't wet sand that, you'll see a big, it'll, it'll accentuate the uh, uh, under the paint protection film and it'll look really bad. So that'll be wet sanded. Deep scratch in the bumper already. Level three paint correction. We're looking at about 15 yeah, hours of work on this. Believe it or not, no, the sanding is like we're always seeing the model three. Level three, like two or three, is pretty common with them. Yeah, you got stuff like this, like all over the place. That's a sanding mark. Look, you got a big chip up here already. Oh, yeah. I mean, the paint. You can see somebody buffed the paint. Look, there's another. Oh yeah, right there. There's yeah. another sanding mark right there. Oh. And then you can see somebody polished it. Or compounded it and then did not polish yeah. it. Well, that's why we're here, to make other people can see. Right. <laughs> it for this episode thank you everybody for watching please subscribe we got lots more content coming soon some more vlogs coming see you next time